Hi, and welcome to my Pitch Your Generation 4 research presentation. My name is Samuel Walker, and I'm a nuclear engineer at Idaho National Laboratory. My research focuses on multi-physics depletion modeling of molten salt reactors. Now you might be wondering, why molten salt reactors? Well, molten salt reactors, or MSRs, are an exciting Generation 4 reactor technology that give a lot of economic and safety benefits over light water reactors. Now, unfortunately, though, they, this reactor still has a relatively low technology readiness level, or TRL. And in order to enhance that, we really need to look at the multi-physics behavior of the entire system. Now, when I say multi-physics, this is really looking at neutronics, thermal hydraulics, and chemistry, and how these processes interact to define the behavior of the reactor. So really, we're looking at depletion-driven thermochemical effects and chemical species transport in MSRs. Now, in your molten salt reactor, you will have fission of your uranium or plutonium fuel. And as this happens, you will have the generation of fission products. Some of these fission products will not be soluble in your base ion, which is fluor like a fluoride or chloride salt. And as this happens, then the redox potential of the salt will change, or the chemical potential will change. Now, if the chemical potential becomes too oxidizing, then you will have the generation of corrosion, where there's a cationic deficiency in the molten salt, and so you'll have leaching of structural materials. In addition to this, we also talked about the generation of noble metals and noble gases. Well, if you want to extract these, one option is to sparge part of your system with uh, an, an inert gas, and we really want to understand how the mass transfer um, occurs and how, what sort of extraction efficiencies we could um, see in a system like this. If we don't have extraction of particles, then you will definitely have a lot of insoluble noble metals and noble gases that will be depositing on surfaces in your reactor. And these will really be critical to understand from their decay heat um, uh, analysis, especially if you are draining your reactor and you need to cool these regions. Uh, lastly, we really want to look at an off gas system. The liquid gas interface is really critical to understand what sort of species will be going into the off-gas system, especially if you have any sort of deposition of uh, insoluble uh, noble metals, then this will really alter that uh, surface energy of that interface. Now, the application of this research really looks at redox potential control. And the reason we want to do this is to really mitigate corrosion over the lifetime of our reactor as we go through depletion. On this picture here really showcases this. This is a uh, beryllium rod in a nickel cage that was dipped into the molten salt reactor experiment to control the redox potential of the salt. So we, we want to be able to model this and then see um, as the thermohydraulics of the system uh, progresses how the chemical species and uh, potential change in time. We also want to look at off-gas system control, and so this is really important for source term characterization. We want to know what sort of material is ending up in our off-gas system, and how can we really uh, mitigate any sort of risks um, from a source term perspective. Lastly, we, will, we can look at material accountancy, and so this is kind of looking at um, taking a forensic snapshot of the reactor to ensure that there's no, diversion, there's no ongoing diversion of fuel from the system. Another exciting application of this research is looking at tritium breeding blanket design for fusion systems. Lastly, I want to thank my research collaborators on this work, and that's Abdallah Abu Jawadi and Mauricio Tano, as well as the funding source, which is the Advanced Reactor Technology Molten Salt Reactor Campaign. Thank you so much for your time.